Hi guys, this is my second haul video. I've got new inventory for Amit Art in Resale. My name is Jackie. And I just started a YouTube channel, but there's nothing on it yet. Um, so let me get the link to my Macari site pinned to the bottom of this video, and I'll show you some new inventory that I got. It's not quite um, up on Macari yet, but it will be eventually. So I try, I'm, I'm just getting the hang of reselling. I'm thrifting, and I'm going to antique stores. And I'm finding treasures for you guys to hopefully flip for a little bit of a profit. Um, so this is my second hobby. And my first hobby is fluid art painting. And I combined the two hobbies together for business tax purposes. So um, let me get my Macari link pin to the bottom of the video and then get this shared out to my personal page just because I'm just starting out. Oh, that's not it. Oh, it's on my phone. Okay, hang on. Comment. Oh, can I not comment on my own? Oh, swipe left. Oh, that's okay. Okay. Um, I copied and pasted it on the phone and for some reason, I don't know if I can comment on my live video, but I can on my computer. So, let me find my link for Macari. Oh, there it is. And then go back up here. Oh, that's not it. Okay. I got it. I'll get it, guys. Hang on. Oh, that's terrible. That's not it. Okay, what's going on here? I guess I'll just go to my Macari page and copy that again. Mm -mm -mm. All right, there we go. Let me copy this and see if that's right. Copy, back to Facebook, paste. There we go. So I'm going to show you some new inventory that's going to be up on my Macari site. Um, ooh. Uh, where'd it go? Swipe left to reveal comments. There it is. Okay, guys. You know, I'm doing pretty good for how old I am and the technical stuff. So, yay for me. Um, okay. So, I've just pinned my Macari site. My Macari link to the bottom of this video. Um... So, some of this stuff will be up eventually, so you got to keep an eye on my Macari site for me. Um, and don't forget, I did just start a YouTube channel, um, Pour Your, um, I'm sorry, <laughs> Amit Art in Resell. So, I just started this business, so I've come up with a couple different names, and like I said earlier, I had to combine my two hobbies into one business name for tax purposes. So that's why it's Amit Art in Resell, because my new hobby is fluid art painting. My second hobby is reselling online. So, so far I've started on Macari. I'm going to try out eBay as well. Um, oh, one last thing. I want to share this to my personal page. Um, wait one second here. Share to a page. What? I can't share to my personal page? Oh, well. I'll do that after the video. It's it's all good. Okay, let's get started. 
So I've been thrifting at Salvation Army, the Goodwill, Ocean Beach Thrift, Antique Malls. Um, I've just kind of been all over San Diego. So um, I'm learning like about vintage pieces and um, um, antiques and just just fun pieces that you might want to use in your home um, or decorate your home with. Um, this first piece, I was so excited to find this. This is blown glass, it's a Blinko, and it's a two-spouted pitcher. So these are absolutely gorgeous. And this will be on my Macari site eventually. Isn't this beautiful? It's a water pitcher with two spouts. It's the brand name is Blinko, B-L-E-N-K-O. <clears throat> so that's absolutely gorgeous. <coughs> I have a I found two of them at the Salvation Army. One of them is cobalt blue, but I noticed, I didn't notice it when I got it, but it's um, cracked at the bottom. So that one is going in my china cabinet because it's still gorgeous. It's beautiful. <gasps> Look at this, you guys. This is hand-blown art. It's green with bubbles. It's a votive holder. This, the quality on this is just stunning. It's a little bit hollow in the inside, but then like this much is the solid glass. So it's a little bit heavy. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love it. I love it. So that's that. You guys look at this. I don't, I don't know what this is. This is lead, well, it's, I do know what, I do know what it is. It's a lead crystal pitcher, but look at how skinny it is. I just love it. I just think it's beautiful. I don't really know what kind of liquid it's for. If any of you out there know, or if any of you recognize the pattern or the brand, give me a shout out in the comments. So another piece I found, this, it matches. These patterns match. I don't know if they actually do go together. I don't know if this is a tumbler. It could be a tumbler, but, or it could be a vase, just, the, just by the way the bottom is cut. But this is lead crystal, and I think these go together. It's so pretty. Guess what else I found, you guys? So this is an antique, I think if it's, I think if it's 100 years old, it's antique, less than 100 vintage, but it has to be 20 years or older. So 1968. So this is a vintage thrifty prescription box. But that's not, this. that was just an extra because someone had stored a German Bible inside. But look at that, a 1968 prescription box. Anyway, I got, that's what was inside. This is what was inside. It's a little German communion Bible from the early 1900s. Isn't that amazing? And then it also has in here, oh, look at the very inside. That's inset with a crucifix. It's so pretty. And then, you guys, I have so much fun doing this. So it's fun learning about all this stuff. So First Holy Communion, April 11th, 1926. Celestina Hushka was was born 6th of April, 1916. Wow. Sorry, that's backwards, guys. Um, I used to be able to flip the camera. 
Oh, there it goes. I found it. Oh my God. They moved it. There we go. Isn't that amazing? I just thought that was special. I might post this on Facebook with the names that I found in here. But it came in this 1968 prescription thrifty drugstore prescription box, which I thought was pretty cool. And look at look at this. This is so cute. This is just a little resin figurine with a little bird on it. Give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love, Psalm 107.31. I'm tempted to keep this for myself. It's kind of heavy too, but it's so cute. So cute. Keep an eye on my Mercari store for these new listings. You guys, look at this. It's a it's a it's like a folk art cowbell, hand-painted, from Germany, and they call them Zug. Bites. And it looks like the numbers on it are 136. I'm not really sure. But it's missing the little ringer on the inside. I'm so bummed, but I just thought that was so cute. It's brass. And these are really, really cute, you guys. This is called Macone Clay. And it's father and sons. And it's actually a pretty heavy piece. And let me read what it says on the back. This is the work of Wisconsin artist Michael McCone and his two sons, Miles and Clayton. All colors are hand glazed and each piece is kiln fired twice to nearly 2000 degrees. The result is a fade proof, weather proof work of art that will last a lifetime indoors or out. We hope you enjoy this piece as much as we did making it for you. Isn't that cute? And they lived happily ever after. I just thought that was so cute. And I just love artist stuff. I love, love, love it. Okay, next, isn't this fun? Okay, so this is called the Sensitive Art of Chokin. Not cute. It's a little jewelry box. So cute, you guys. And let me read about this. The Sensitive Art of Chokin has been handed down from generation to generation for more than 700 years. Created by etching solid copper and gilding it with gold and silver, the stunning Chokin masterworks first appeared on the armaments of the mighty samurai warriors in the late 12th century the elegance and richness of each piece of artwork will remain unchanged for ages to come wow that is really interesting so it's a seascape with pelicans oh my god it's gonna be on my makari site if you gotta have it Okay, look at this. You guys, I took pottery in high school and I just absolutely love studio art pottery. This is a really large mug. Isn't it beautiful? And it is signed by the artist, but I can't make it out. So I have two of these mugs. I'll be listing them separately. And it's got, you know, the little thumb piece right here. So if you want a big cup of coffee, or I would say more like beer. It's not really a, a traditional beer stein, but I would say this is a studio art pottery beer stein. That's how big it is. So that's one of them. Here's the other one. Aren't these amazing? And I believe it's done by the same artist. Let me compare the signatures. I th yeah, it says, I believe it says VM16. So maybe, um, oh, that almost looks like a leaf. 
Hi, you guys. So maybe um, 2016, this was made. Isn't it beautiful? Got two of those, different shapes. And then this art is called Tanala, Mexico. It's an angel candle holder. And it is hand painted. It says Cat Tanala, Mexico 319. So these are really popular, you guys. The Tanala art from Mexico. Isn't that cute? So cute. Now, I've been finding these little bud bases. Oh, I love them. It's art glass, and then they have the bubbles on the inside. Isn't that pretty? Little art glass bud base. You guys, I have I found this, and I've never seen this. I absolutely love this. It's hand-painted and signed. It's a little black ceramic basket. I don't believe it's black glass. I believe it's ceramic, but it's hand painted and signed. There's signatures right there. Isn't it cute? Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> you guys, I just love this. This would be cute on a dresser to hold jewelry. So cute. Okay. Oh, guys, Look at this. Isn't this stunning? This might be Blanco. I tried researching it and I could not find another one like it online. Uh, but it is blown glass and it's kind of like a melon. I think they call this a melon shape. Um, but I just thought this was absolutely stunning. I've been, I got hooked on doing this. I, I've been following the crazy lamp lady and just learning um, about all the different types of, you know, art glass and stuff like that. And she is so fun to watch. There's so many other people out there doing this. I, I've always loved antiques and finding treasures at the thrift store. So I thought, hey, why not? Why not? This is beautiful. Anyway, I have... Some of the art glass that I have already listed on Macari is kind of sitting around my house and it's so, it looks so pretty to decorate with different colored pieces of art glass. I just love it. Okay, look at this, you guys. This is a creamer and guess what brand this is. This is called Corel Coordinate Stoneware. And it doesn't have the pattern on it. Now, this one is a creamer and it has the cherry. But look at the sugar. It has an apple. So I don't know if the creamer was supposed to have an apple too. But it, this is in really good shape, and it's Corel Stoneware, which I I didn't know Corel made stoneware. But there's more to this set. So I think it's okay to have the different fruit, right? I think that's still cute. It may have came that way. I don't know. But look what else. <gasps> this holds the little packets of sugar. And it has the same pattern as this sugar. So I'm going to be, this is going to be posted on Macari as a set. It's Corel Stoneware, you guys. Okay, look at this. I still have to clean this piece. You guys, this is absolutely stunning. This is lead crystal. And it's got kind of a geometric um, pattern to it with all the diamonds cut in it. I only have one of these though. This is pretty heavy. It's lead crystal and I just think it's stunning. And I think it's okay to decorate with um, single pieces. Like sometimes I only find like a single candlestick and like this piece and I think it's okay to decorate with um, different pieces. For instance, 
Look at this. Oh my God. I do have the blue one of this on my Macari site right now. And I might take a picture of this and post them both together and sell them together. Sometimes when you're at the thrift store, like I looked really, really hard to make sure there was no chipping. But then of course, when I got it home, I found a little, this could be, it's got a little pokey right here on the corner. It could be a chip or a manufacturer's defect. Regardless, I believe this is Fenton Hobnail and it's a master salt seller maybe and or like little tea light candle holder. I just love them. These are so pretty. I guess, you guys, I'm not a cook. I'm nowhere close to a gourmet cook, but I guess um, they used to have little tiny salt cellars that they put on the table and you'd pick up the salt and sprinkle your food. So I guess the salt cellars are coming back in, in vogue. Look what we have, a Disney princess cup, and this has Cinderella, Belle, and Sleeping Beauty. And it has something on the inside. Let's see, what does it say? Let the enchantment begin. This is in really good condition. It is so cute. If any of you have got to drink your coffee or tea out of a prince's cup, this will be on my Macari site. This was actually an extra, you guys. They did have the creamer that went with it. And I told her I didn't want I didn't want it because it had a chipped and I meant I didn't want both of them. So the, the sh actually the sugar had a chip on it. Um, so when I was doing my inventory, this came out and I was so bummed because, well, it's an extra, it's okay. Um, this is also Corel Coordinates Stoneware and this pattern's called Happy Days. So this will be up on my Macari site. I didn't get the sugar. I actually didn't want either piece because I didn't want to break up the set, but she misunderstood me when I said, oh, I don't want these because it has a chip, but she ended up giving me the creamer. And that's, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. You guys, I can't remember if I shared this or not. What? Look at this. It's a cobalt blue bubble hand-blown art glass with an applied clear handle. Isn't that stunning? I don't know the brand of this. It is so beautiful. Just beautiful. Um, and that's it for now. That's the new, some of the new pieces that I got. I have so much more inventory I haven't shared with you guys yet. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm just getting started doing this resale business and I will get my rhythm down. It'll, it'll all come together. So if you guys, um, would like any of these pieces I showed tonight, keep an eye out on my Mercari site. I've, um, pinned the link. Did I pin it? I thought I pinned it. Is it pinned? Oh Yeah. I pinned my Macari site to the bottom of the video. I did just start a YouTube channel, um, Amit Art and Resell. And then, of course, you can find me here on Facebook and on Instagram. And I'm going to be working to getting on TikTok. Um, let me just grab one of my pieces of art real quick, since this is Amit Art and Resell. Let me, let me share a new piece with you guys. So this is flu called Fluid Art, and there's so many different techniques for applying the paint. This one is, um, I still need to varnish this one. I still even have the tape on the back. But here, this will be up on the site eventually. So don't forget guys, um, most of my, a lot of my paintings are already up on my Amit Art and Resell Facebook page. Um, like I said, I'm just kind of getting started, so I'll get my rhythm down. 
and I do bring my artwork down to um, Ocean Beach um, every Wednesday, probably uh, between three and seven at the farmer's market. So I'm not actually part of the farmer's market, but I am right behind the farmer's market on the sidewalk. So the farmer's market is every Wednesday, um, Ocean Beach on Newport Avenue between Bacon and Cable. You might want to get down there early. It's it, the parking. It can be pretty crazy. Let me see. You never know which way to turn these where they're going to look the best. Anyway, I'm having so much fun with my two new hobbies, doing my fluid art painting and um, doing my resell, um, going out to thrift stores and antique malls to see if I can find treasures for you guys to flip for a profit. So this is going to be my first video. Actually, I think I have two videos that I did that I'm going to upload to YouTube. So all this online stuff just slowly builds over time. Um, it's kind of my little retirement hobby I'm going to start doing. So don't forget, check out my Macari site. See if there's anything that you find that you just can't live without. I will be on the hunt for new treasures for you guys. I've got lots of inventory I still need to list and upload to Macari. And I really appreciate that you stopped by. Um, and if you could, shoot me some likes and hearts and share with your friends to like my page. I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.